So, <laughs> varicella zoster is the name of the virus and varicella is chicken pox and zoster is herpes. So, it's one disease that causes both. So, if you don't get chicken pox, you can never get herpes. No, you have so to have that, a chicken pox. Uh, that's why you should get the chicken pox vaccine. Vaccine. Now, unfortunately, the chicken pox vaccine is not still the part of the government's, I think, the vaccination no, program. I now think they started. have. They That's have. what, for when we were kids, yeah, it was true. not there. It was not optional there. Now they've added now it. Now they've added it. Mandated. Yeah, because of which many of you who are our age or before this came in, if you haven't had, had the vaccine, I think it's still good to have the vaccine. Yes, because, so there is a... So that you don't get the chicken pox. And if you don't get the chicken pox, you don't get the zoster. So it's a double, you know, thing at the end of the day. There's just a little bit of trivia bits, <laughs> small stuff at the end of the day. No, even patients with, I mean, elderly patients, we do recommend that they take they the take herpes the vaccine. vaccine. Yeah. Irrespective of if they've had the chicken pox. Oh, even if they've had, you recommend? Yes, we oh, do I recommend. Know that. Elderly patients, we do. I see. Or if you've had someone in your family who's oh, had a zoster, uh, then the spouse or the caretaker is recommended to uh, take the herpes zoster vaccine. That's another good message for you. So, it's still thing to do. So, please ask. Don't take it yourself. Don't say, Dr. Okay. Saran, Dr. Sadashah, I told on the, you know, podcast should give it and give me the vaccine. That's not what we're trying to say. Please ask your doctor, your physician, whoever you consult. And if he also agrees, I think it's definitely worth exploring. 